Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, today I'm going to test out the new PC Tools Internet Security. I think it's version 2011. And uh, somebody let me know that they just came out with it, so that was nice of them. Um, I uh, went to their website, downloaded a trial, and uh, installed it. With the updates and the download, it's I think it's about 160 megs total. I think it's like an 89 megabyte uh, update and uh, 79 meg download of the program. So it's not a small program uh, by any means, but it's not huge either. There's much bigger ones out there. So uh, I have the trial. Everything's set up just like it is from the factory. Everything's on. Um, basic protection. You don't get full protection until you activate it. Um, uh, crap, I just hit start scan by accident. So we have, it has, has a behavior guard, uh, which is set up, uh, which is powered by threat fire. So hopefully that, that'll do good. Um, browser guard, cookie guard, download guard, um, email, file, network rootkit, and site guard, which is uh, kind of like a DNS uh, blocking, which you can actually see, because I kind of went over these, um, where is that? anti-spam settings um, so if you want you can always look it up online and you can go through it step by step but I don't have the time to do that right now so let's start testing uh, it is fully updated let's check out to see how much RAM here it uses now, I know people always say oh, you're checking RAM and whatever and this is just a quick check I don't have time to check performance settings um, on how you properly do it. So, so let's see. We have 20, 25, 27. Oh, that went down a little bit. And then it's got this weird one, a fake guard module. And you have a little toolbar now too. So, let's see how it does here. I have some extra links in case some of these are bad. These are f really fresh. Some of these very low detection ratio. There you go. That one was blocked. It's blocked uh, access to the website. And a high risk threat was blocked. Okay, looks like that one went through that. Let's go back home. I do notice a good, definitely a slowdown. Okay, looks like that one got blocked. Don't know what happened with that second one there. Actually, that one wasn't working. Sorry. This one's trying to write to virtual memory says installer v4 is trying to write to virtual memory do you trust this application let's see what happens when we click details okay temp file so normally I know that this is a bad application but because of this uh, alert it's kinda hard to make a decision on this so I know that I don't want to trust it but behavior guard detected okay so there you go so now quarantine it I'm gonna pause the video here while this shuffles itself out so I'll be right back 
Okay, so that took a little bit of time to work its way out. Not sure if I did this one already or not. This is really slowing down this computer, that's for sure. Look at that. Internet Explorer is still not responding. See what kind of memory usage we got here. Let's see if something's using up a ton of. Something might have got through and it's using a ton of RAM or uh, er, uh, CPU. So. Uh, okay. Let's see, anti malware definition update. Okay, whatever that is. I'm going to pause the video and reboot this computer. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I restarted. Seems to be working a little better now. Maybe. Looks like that one got blocked, I think. Yep. Okay, so we will block both of those. That one's not working. I'm going to wait for that one to do whatever it's doing in the background. Okay, that one got blocked. As soon as I have some time, I'm going to do the rest of them. Okay, that one got blocked. So did that one. And let's try the last one here. Okay, the behavior guard saw that one. And uh, I'm going to block it or quarantine, whatever. Alright, so now I'm going to do a full scan. So I will be back when the full scan is done. Actually, on second thought, I'm going to go shower, and I'll be back whenever I'm done doing that and this is done. So I'll see you whenever. Okay, so it got done just in time. It found supposedly one infection, and it's just a temporary internet file. So that's no big deal. Now, it might not let me fix this exactly. Uh, the trial version gives you protection, but it doesn't let you fix anything. So it's just a temporary internet file, so technically it says it found nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my testing tools, I'm going to run CCleaner, and then run uh, Norton Power Eraser, and I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so uh, Norton Power Eraser finished scanning, and it didn't find anything. So now I'm going to scan with uh, Malwarebytes, so I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning, and it didn't find anything, so that's really good to see. Last but not least, let's do a scan with Hitman Pro, and if that comes out clean, I'll probably say that it uh, did a good job and stopped everything. So let's see if uh, Hitman Pro finds anything, and uh, I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so um, Hitman Pro finished scanning and it didn't find anything. That's just my uh, super anti-spyware that was there. Uh, while I'm here and I have some time, let's throw uh, online armor at it. This is a, does a very fast scan, so it'll be over quick. But from the looks of it, it looks like um, the new PC tools, Internet Security. Uh, that's just that one 
infection, so-called, that it found in temporary internet files, um, did uh, very well. Uh, I think it, most of it had something to do with the uh, um, that's annoying um, with threat fire that helped a lot and it seems like their signatures are uh, improving so I'm definitely liking what they're doing um, all they need to do is actually make it a little faster on the PC it uh, I guess it doesn't want to let me download from the website. Okay, we'll just use this one. Um, and uh, that's really it. So let me let the, let me get this uh, over with, and I'll be right back. Okay, and it found nothing also. So there you go. Um, definitely an improvement. Um, as long as they would. Uh, you know, make it a little bit more uh, lighter on the system and um, have it actually help, you know, it's a, it doesn't drag down the system as much. Um, they definitely got real good here, so uh, much better. And uh, really, that's it for this review. Um, don't know if I'm going to get another one out today or not, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to everybody later. Take care.